hello guys i am back still updating you what is going on what is trending in nigerian politics greetings to you wherever you are uh it's a beautiful saturday afternoon i quickly want to update you on this of course we already know uh, that all eyes is on the judiciary i'm talking about the petition of uh, peter b against um Tinibu and uh february 25 election and then um, a lot of propaganda against Labour Party and Peter Obi is still ongoing. And then, so far so good. The latest update I have for you is that Labour Party has refuted claims that its supporters threatened judges reviewing the petition of Peter Obi against the election result uh, favoring Bola Tinibu. So, uh, according to the opposition, I'm talking about uh, the APC. Of course, there is um, a serious panic in the APC scam uh, because of uh, they are already shaking about the outcome of uh, February 25 election the result, which the tribunal will have to review with all the evidence that has been uh, presented at the tribunal. The evidence is so weighty enough. And then the um, people believe that since Tinibu is already the president of uh, the Nigeria, that his influence, you understand, is going to use the federal might and his influence uh, to influence the tribunal judges. But um, everybody's eyes is already on the tribunal as they are reviewing the case. So the propaganda is that from the APC, the opposition, that Labour Party supporters are now threatening tribunal judges uh, for them not to favour or for them or if they should favour uh, Tinibu that uh, the supporters of Labour Party, uh, you know, trying to threaten them for them to do the... Why threaten somebody to do the right thing when the person has already seen the right thing to do? You don't need to threaten the person because with all the evidence... Everything that has been presented at the tribunal, all the evidence has proven itself. Now, what is there for you to threaten again? So they should be the one to be talking about threat because Labour Party already had presented enough evidence to, for the tribunal to use in reviewing the judgment. So why will Labour Party go that extent to threaten tribunal judges again it doesn't make sense to me so the people that should be threatening the tribunal judges are the opposition the people that have seen that the election did not favor them the people that seen that uh, that have seen that they rigged themselves into uh, the government the people that have seen that they rigged the election in their favor i mean everything has been proven already by labor party it is not about threat Remember, I shared a video for you guys where um, a, a very large billboard had been erected close to um, uh, fed, uh, the tribunal, okay, that all eyes is on the judiciary. Of course, this is the first time uh, the judiciary will be handle, handling um, such a case. They thought it was business as usual. That was the reason why INEC chairman says, if you are not satisfied with the result, go to court. They thought it was business as usual. At the end of the day, you go to court. The case will linger until uh, uh, the sitting president, you understand, finishes his tenure. Remember what happened between Atiku Abubakar and Buari? When Atiku um, took Buari to court in the last election, the case was in court until Buari finishes his eight years in office. So they thought it was going to be business as usual. You understand. So that was why the INEC chairman says, if you are not satisfied, you go to court. Because by the time the case is in court, the case will linger until the sitting president, you understand, leaves office. But things have changed. They didn't know that the handwriting will change this time around. So they are now confused. Trying to blackmail Labour Party, that Labour Party is now threatening tribunal judges uh, if they should favour uh, Why will Labour Party threaten tribunal judges when all the evidence has been, you know, presented to the tribunal already? When all the evidence has proven otherwise? I really don't see any reason why uh, Labour Party will threaten the tribunal judges. You understand? So according to the National Publicity Secretary, Obiora Ifo, 
Um, he said the All Progressive Congress has concocted the story to tarnish the Labour Party's images and stir unrest. Let me quickly give you the statement. What he said, according to him, he said, "We therefore wish to restrain our belief in the sanctity of our uh, jurisprudence and expect that." Justice will be served based on nothing short of what the Constitution and the extant law says, and not via the trial mechanism or devious act of the ruling party that is desperate to cling to power without people's mandate. So that was the update uh, from Labour Party. When the um, these people, the APC says uh, Labour Party uh, supporters are now threatening tribunal judges. No, why would they do that? All right, guys, I quickly want to update you. Um, Labour Party has, um, you know, refused to debunk the claim that they are threatening uh, tribunal judges if they should favor Tinibu um, against the uh, petition of Peter B. You understand? With um, That is uh, Tinibu and Shetima. Of course, you understand. So um, that is the update. If you have anything to contribute, put it down in the comment section below. See you guys in another update.